Hello everyone, I'm Todd Connor in New York and welcome to this edition of Money Matters. The tough truth these days is that for many businesses, business is not good. Business budgets are tight and job cuts are practically a must for many businesses. That means bosses are trying to identify the best talent on their team. So how do you get the boss's attention as the go-to employee and work your way to a promotion? Joining me now to tell us how to do that is the author and entrepreneur, Andre Taylor. Uh, good morning, Andre. Thanks for joining good us. Good morning, Todd. Uh, before we get started, uh, break down the climate out there for us uh, in the business world for the many people who are trying to get themselves uh, ahead in the workplace. Well, it's a tough market out there. However, people who are ambitious, people who are positive, people who know that they have a lot of talent are actually quite ready to get promoted right now. And they're really looking at this moment as an opportunity to sort of seize that opportunity. It's hard to stay positive sometimes, but you need to. And you've got five tips on how to get promoted at work. And your first tip is think, dress, and act like a CEO. Dress like the job you want and not the job you have. Right, Andre? It's exactly right. If there is any secret to success in the, uh, uh, on the job, it is really uh, looking, acting, feeling like a person who is promoted. And that will put you in a position where people will recognize your talent, people will see that you're a person who really should climb the corporate ladder, and they'll look at you as a, as a go-to person. Good point. Your next tip is go that extra mile. Walk us through this one. People who go the extra mile without complaining about it are the people who are ultimately going to be promoted. These are people who stay late. These are people who put a little extra effort into the job. These are people who actually try to find a way to make the business more successful. And they're not just focused on their own time, their own pay, and their own uh, uh, specific job. So what happens if you already feel like you're going that extra mile and uh, you don't hear anything back? Should you? point it out? Is that the proper thing to do? Well, the key always is to focus on the results of the business. You never want to complain. You never want to say, I'm not being recognized. What you want to do is focus on the results of the business. If you focus on the results of the business, focus on what you bring to the business, and carry yourself as a person who contributes to the business in a big way, you will be recognized. And finally, at some point, someone will take advantage of, of what you have to bring. Well, that's good to hear. Uh, your third tip to get promoted at work is strengthen your communication skills. What skills do we need to really improve on when it comes to communications? Well, those who are really good on the job and who, who move up to the corporate ladder are those people who, who write well, who speak well, and who interact well, particularly interacting with the senior executives well. You have to be a person who doesn't just see themselves as a worker, but has an executive mindset. Up next, uh, you say become an active member of industry groups. Is there a particular way to go about finding these groups? Well, in just about every industry, there are uh, industry groups, there are industry magazines, there are trade associations. Very often people come into a job and they're excited about the job. They learn a lot about it in the first year, but they don't really apply themselves going forward. If you just look around, you will see the, the organizations to become a part of. And as you become a part of them, become more active, you'll be seen as a leader, uh, both in the industry and at your job. And probably if you look around in the social media world, like uh, Facebook and Twitter, those places, they uh, are very important as part of these groups as well, right? Todd, the good news is that all of these organizations now have a presence online. So you don't have to always go out to a meeting or go to a conference or go to a seminar. You can actually participate from the comfort of your own home. And that is a powerful new development in the marketplace. Your final tip for us this morning, Andre, to get promoted at work is remember to network outside of your industry. Uh, how can we do that? Well, it really comes down to expanding your interests and focusing on things that, that matter to you outside of your industry. If you're interested in other industries, if you're interested in arts and culture, if you do, just do those things that interest you and remind yourself that you can also represent your organization at the same time, you will find a way to meet new people who will help you advance. So maybe you're feeling like you should get promoted. How about asking for that pay raise that goes along with that promotion these days? Is that out of the question in these tough times? Todd, nothing is out of the question. If you are a person that performs, you are a person that can get a raise. And just ask for the top dollar or just small increments? 
I think you should ask for what you feel you deserve, and I think you should always put it in the context of the results of the business. These days, if you're not being promoted, it's because the organization does not see you as a leader. The key is to really see yourself as a leader, act that way, and others will see you that way as well. All right. Well said. Five great tips uh, in order to get promoted at the job that you already have. Andre Taylor, author and entrepreneur, as always, thank you very much for joining us today and uh, sharing your tips with us. Appreciate it. My pleasure, Todd. And, of course, you can pick up Andre's book, You Can Still Win. It's on bookshelves right now. Go out and get it. All right, time now to check out the tech headlines. Google aids the recovery effort in Chile. The search giant has launched a tool to help people search for friends and loved ones in the aftermath of this weekend's devastating earthquake. Google Person Finder lets you search for information about people by name, or you can leave information if you know someone's whereabouts. As of early this morning, the page had records uh, of more than 35,000 people already. A new survey highlights how technology continues to reshape the way we get our news. According to the Pew Research Center, 26% of Americans now read news on their cell phones. The shift is even more pronounced among younger Americans. About 43% of people under 50 say they read the news on the go. The technology is evolving so quickly, Pew doesn't even have data on this from a few years ago. YouTube is testing a new feature that lets you use the site like your own personal jukebox. The YouTube Music Discovery Project lets you create a playlist with each clip playing automatically. No clicking required once you start. You can search for videos by artist or song title and then mix and match your favorites. You can find the feature at youtube.com slash disco. A new iPhone app for cheaters, crooked politicians, and well, anyone else worried about their text messaging trail. Tiger Text wipes out any questionable text from your phone after a set period of time, anywhere from 60 seconds to five days. The messages will also be scrubbed from the recipient's phone and servers that normally store them. The company behind the app says it was developed to protect privacy, not help people cheat. Of course not. And if you're wondering whether Tiger Text was named after Tiger Woods, the answer is no. The company claims it had the name before the golfer's scandal. And for more on all of these stories and all of your tech headlines, check out the technology page of abcnews.com. And that's all the money matters for now. I'm Todd Connor, New York. Stay tuned for more news that's good to know. And thanks for watching.